Hello! It's time for another snack week, because I went in a shop and there were like five different ready meal stroke snack things I hadn't tried yet, and I thought, hey, I could do those one at a time. So prepare for five days of, well, things that are very easy to make, but are ultimately quite disappointing, I imagine. Let us begin with Waterson's Tuna Lunch. Mediterranean pasta, peppers, tuna and onions in a tomato dressing near a sketch of a ship. If only it was Bill Watson's tuna lunch, it could, like, make us think about life and stuff with cute Calvin and Hobbes characters. Anyway, dolphin friendly, dolphin friendly. That is really like dolphins, it's got nothing to do with the uh, innards of it at all. A low-fat, healthy, balanced meal. Can we balance it? Ooh, not very easily. Um, serving suggestion, stick it on a plate. So yeah, this confused me, because uh, it's got fish in it, but it wasn't like refrigerated or anything, it was just you know, on the shelf uh, specifically of B&M, which is a shop that sells things not wholly unlike this. Um, yeah, well, it's got all your favourites in. Look, tomato paste, uh, rapeseed oil, paprika extract, oregano, xanthane gum, traces of mustard. Great prog rock band there. Ah, oh, dear. Remove foil lid and eat directly from the dish. You don't even heat it. Oh, I was expecting this to go a bit microwave, but no, this is just eat cold. Best before end, seaside of carton. Packaged in a protective atmosphere. On the planet Zargon. Um, where, where is the best before date? Where, 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 where's the best before date? Seaside of carton. I mean, I'm kind of... Ah, here we are. 6th of January 20 fucking 20? That's like some zombie apocalypse um, preparation food here. Crikey. Bloody hell. Well, it's got fish in it, but it apparently keeps nearly forever. Okay, let's open her up. Tuna Mediterranean Watt. What? What? What's in this? What? Six of the first 20. Well, that's true. 11.53. Ooh, that's exactly the time it goes out of date. One second beyond that, it's just totally rancid. Beforehand, absolutely fine. Right, let's peel the lid off then. This is proving more difficult than one had assumed. Cool. This is why it keeps, because it's ludicrously airtight. Mmm. Mother! Mother, the cat's been sick again, mother! Um, yeah. This smells like something that you should probably cook, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> could heat it. No, it didn't say heat it on the packet, and we have to be uh, good boys like that. Right, I'm going to try some of the small little uh, pasta shells there, and a bit of the tuna, and some of the green peppers. Don't particularly like uh, peppers, so this probably isn't going to be my sort of thing, but we shall see. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a fair bit of tuna in it, actually, from looking at it. Or maybe did I just pick out the big lump? No, no, there is tuna. It's fine. Um, it tastes kind of like how you'd expect it to. It's not much, you know, kick or particularly super-duper flavour in it, but it's not entirely flavourless or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's... it's oh, well, I'll have some more. Hang on. Wait for it. Oh. Texture on that bit, not great. And that kind of weird slimy thing, which makes you think in the back of your head you maybe shouldn't be eating it. Tastes fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's very much a mediocre meal. I wish I remember how much I paid for it, but it was like, wasn't much more than a quid. Probably wasn't even that, actually. Um, oh, I've just remembered I actually got this, I think, from Home Bargains, not B&M Bargains. I got my bargains mixed up. Sorry, bargain hunters. Yeah, that's a, uh, well, that that's a thing. Um, I give this, this is very solidly sort of 5 out of 10. It's just perfectly decent, but not particularly anything. Well, if you're stuck and you really fancy some tuna stuff and you've got one of these, then I suggest you eat it. How many reviews do you see online that actually end like that? A lot of them. Subscribe for more.